Yo, what's up guys? You're back with Technic and today we'll be doing a 3D mark benchmark run between the Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro, Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra and the iPhone 11 Pro Max. The Xiaomi comes paired with a Snapdragon 865 processing chip and the version that I have comes paired with 8 gigs of RAM. It has a 90 hertz panel refresh rate which we're going to keep enabled and we're going to be using Game Turbo to go into 3D Mark. The S20 Ultra also comes paired with the Snapdragon 865 processing chip but 12 gigs of RAM that has a 120 hertz refresh rate panel but we cannot use WQHD for this so we're going to be sticking to Full HD Plus which is native on the Xiaomi anyway. We're also going to be focusing on performance and running through Game Launcher here to open up a 3D Mark. The iPhone 11 Pro Max comes with an A13 Bionic chipset and 4 gigs of RAM, a third of what is running on the S20 20 Ultra. We're going to be comparing Slingshot, Slingshot Unlimited, as well as Slingshot Extreme using OpenGL and Vulcan and Metal, as well as Extreme Unlimited. Guys, this is Technic, and without further ado, let's go. We're going to be starting here with the regular slingshot as you guys can see at the top right hand corner. I have disabled the option to include demos as they are only used for entertainment and do not affect the score at all. Slingshot is an open GL ES 3.0 benchmark. It is less demanding than Slingshot Extreme. Graphics are rendered at 1080p and physics at 720p, then scaled to the phone's resolution. Physics has a lower rendering resolution to ensure GPU performance is not a limiting factor in the test. As you guys can see at the bottom of the screen, it is 100% real time and then I speed things up to 2400% so that I don't keep you guys here all day. This is the regular one and as I said before, I do have the Snapdragon 865 processing chip in the S20 Ultra. That is because I have the Korean version of the phone, I do not have the Exynos chip. Upset. We're going to be getting into results right now and we have the highest score on the Mi 10 Pro. The overall highest FPS so far overall means for the entire test so that will continue updating throughout the test. We have the highest on the Xiaomi and the lowest on the Samsung on the iPhone. We have the lowest graphics FPS on the Samsung and the highest physics FPS on the Xiaomi and the Xiaomi also has the highest graphics FPS as well. Now we're going to be running Slingshot Unlimited and guys go back feel free to go back and hit pause on that screen for more detailed results based on temperatures as well as battery drain. We're going to be using Slingshot Unlimited here and we have the highest score on the iPhone surprisingly enough here. The reason for that is because Unlimited is scaled is a scaled back benchmark tool that runs off screen without virtual sync, resolution scaling and other OS factors that affect the results. It uses fixed time steps between frames to ensure for a more accurate result and without the actual operating system affecting it the iPhone did better there. Now we're going to be running a sing Slingshot Extreme on all three devices but bear in mind the first one that we're going to be doing here for Slingshot Extreme will be running OpenGL ES 3.1 on the two devices on the left which are Android and Metal API on the iPhone 11 Pro Max since it uses different graphics rendering. This is similar to what you will see with DirectX 12 on PCs. Vulkan on Android devices is similar to Metal on iOS as well as DirectX 12. We'll get into that in a minute but so far we're just going to be running OpenGL ES 3.1 on the Android devices and Metal on the iOS since we don't have an option for OpenGL ES on the iPhone. We're going to be running Vulkan right now. We are currently running Vulkan and we're running Slingshot Extreme at the current moment. They both look really, really fluid, the Xiaomi and the S20 Ultra. And because we don't have the option for OpenGL, the iPhone has stopped there because we cannot run two different graphics rendering settings with the Android phones we can. Over here, this is the OpenGL scores of the phones on the left and the Metal score for the iPhone on the right hand side. We have the high score going to the S20 Ultra, but overall FPS still goes to the, well now goes to the iPhone 11 Pro Max with 56.7 overall frames per second, as opposed to the Samsung with 51.1 and the Xiaomi with 54. Make sure you hit pause on the screen if you'd like to see more detail. Vulkan over here, we can be, make this more comparable to the Metal score on the iPhone, and the Xiaomi has now beat the iPhone over here, but the iPhone still has a better total overall frames per second. I have re-added the total frames per second from the previous metal score on the iPhone to keep things more accurate when getting overall frames per second. Now we're going to be running Slingshot Extreme Unlimited once again on all three devices though we are using OpenGL on the two devices on the left and Metal for the iPhone. The iPhone can only support Metal when running Extreme Slingshot over here. 
the slingshot extreme scores for open gl on the left hand side over there you can see that the xiaomi has the highest over there with the iphone being the lowest but it is running on metal total overall frames per second on the xiaomi is higher than the other two but pretty much exactly on par with the iphone 11 pro max pretty much 0.1 or 0.01 frames away the difference between those two between the xiaomi and the iphone overall i'm really impressed over here we have an average total score for the xiaomi as the highest with 8115 points the lowest being the iPhone with 7,272 and in the middle the Samsung with 8,060. Total average frames per second 50 on the iPhone and Xiaomi as opposed to just 48.6 on the S20 Ultra. Not a massive difference here at all. Overall average graphics FPS are the highest on the iPhone but the physics is the lowest on the iPhone and the iPhone also maintained a lower frames per second across the board and a higher frames per second across the board as well. Guys I hope that you enjoyed this test as much as I did making it and until next time guys this is Technic.